Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Chanelly767. Hope everybody is doing well today. My name is Chanelly. My YouTube channel is about vlog, lifestyle, and everything makeup. If you're only but a goodie, it's always good to have you back. Today's video is all about date night for the summer. So I created this lovely look, like a sultry date night look. So if you're interested in this video, thank you for watching. There's a lot going on and we're going to talk about it today. <laughs> so um, I'm going to do a voiceover because my neighbor's dog is going off the chain and it, as you can see it is almost 9 p.m. in the night. So I'm going to do a voiceover to talk about um, where have I been because it's been it's, it's a lot. And the makeup application I'm going to do today and uh, yeah so the first thing I'm going to do I'm taking my setting spray from Urban Decay All Nighter and basically I'm setting my face before I do anything then I'm taking a powder brush and press in that setting um, spray then after that is done I'm going to prime my lips Now I'm going to fill in my brows with my MAC um, Brow Pencil in Spackle. So if you want to fill in your brows, just hit the time card on top. It will take you direct to the video on how to fill in the brows. I have two videos on how to fill in your brows, but I'm only posting the most recent one. It's the exact same step that I'm doing. The only difference in this video, I apply my lash glue on top. Now, that is something that I'm always doing, but when I first started, I used to apply my lash glue first and then fill in my brows, and this was just a hot mess. And I realized that when you fill in your brows first and then apply the lash glue, it makes more sense. Your brows don't move, it stays in one place. Now, applying lash glue on your brows is you don't have to do it it's not for everybody this is a trend that is that surface it not recently it's been around for a while but if you're not into it you don't have to do it but i really like how my brows look um whenever i'm apply the lash glue on my brows because i like thick brows and i <laughs> and i don't want my brows to move so that's the reason why i'm doing it Let's dive in into widen the flame for a week or two or three. No way. Let's not push it. Slow your roll. Slow your roll, Chanel. <laughs> Let's not push it. So I would say two weeks. So um, the first we're going to just dive straight into it. One of them was that I hit a wall, and it wasn't a like literally hitting a wall physically. Is where I was at in my life personally and um it literally drained me that i wasn't um, motivated to um even pick up a camera and flame or to do a vlog or makeup application and remember in my last video i did mention that i want to do a series of makeup application for the summer and i only postponed video and that's it and um, 
the reason was for that um, I was going through something and then I wasn't encouraged to um, put out um, video so all I was doing was working and going home so I started to pray more and no matter what guys even if it's a good or bad situation you always have to give thanks and praise and pray to your Lord so um, I was like praying more hard and helping me come out in that negative um, aura that I was in so praying more um, staying positive and talking when you stay positive is basically you isolating yourself with a negativity that is surrounding you or people I should say because once you have negative people or something happen you know okay click what is that what is the next step what are you going to do to help with that situation to fix that situation to turn into a positivity and also talking to somebody also to help so this helps me a lot a lot and yes it's better said than done believe me it's better said than done but the first step is thanks and praise second step is staying positive keeping your peace and staying away from negative and then the last step of course is um find somebody you can talk to somebody you can trust you know talking is very therapeutic and if you cannot find that person that you trust and you're searching how long the only person is left is god god is the first person actually you know that you should talk to always so that's the reason why um, I couldn't film because of my situation and it helps me a lot to fast forward move in filming this video um, for you. So this is the Anastasia um, eyeshadow primer and let me tell you I already did a review about this primer oh my god I love this primer I haven't used it in a very 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 <laughs> very long time because you guys know I normally just stick with the um, NYX skin tone base and yeah I was comfortable so I decided I'm gonna try some of my products that I haven't used for a while and as you can see a little do go a long way and this really really helps your eyeshadow last longer it's a little little bit pricey but it's worth the coins because a little do go a long way and your eyeshadow really really um lasts longer on there Now I'm going to set my brows with my setting powder in translucent honey. So basically I use this setting powder or any setting powder basically just to set underneath my brows after I defined it. Then I use that same setting powder to set on top my brows and then I drag the rest of the powder to set my lid after I prime it. Don't feel like having a bad life as to keep along with some salt and lime. So now I'm going to use my Hey Hey VK eyeshadow palette from LA Girls. I buy this palette over a year ago and never use it. Now it's summertime, perfect time to use this eyeshadow palette, not because it's called Hey Hey VK from LA Girls eyeshadow palette. I'm giving it to myself just in case you'll give it to me in the comment section. As you can see, it's brand new, never been touched. The plastic is still on it. I'm just showing you what it looks like. 
and as I'm trying to remove the plastic on there I end up hitting myself in the eye just because I was showing up but yes so after I remove the plastic what I like about this eyeshadow is the large mirror that it comes with you can see everything with this large mirror I'm trying to figure out what eyeshadow to use. I never ready. I'll be honest. I never ready. It's once I see the eyeshadow in front of me, then I know, okay, I'm going to use certain eyeshadow. So the eyeshadow I'm going to take is first tropical and then tan lines. And after that, I'm going to take, um, take a dip and a pull side. But when I watch the palette again, I say, nah, let me change and use OG. So these two at next to each other, I'm going to use. So I'm sorry, I'm going to use pull side and take a dip. Before I was going to take take a dip and OG, but now I changed to pull side and take a dip. I'm sorry about that. So as you can see, I know applying um, tropical to the outer part of my lid and yeah it's given a lot of pigmentation and um i do not need any more to apply but i just wanted the outer part to be a little bit darker and smokier that's why i reapply more of the pull side from this palette Then while applying this eyeshadow outer, um, I did a makeup application for one client and I said, okay, let me put the eyeshadow in the inner. It's a similar look that I do on a client that I want to recreate, but the eyeshadow was um, a lot of colors, but this one is more toned down. So I'm just gonna apply it at the inner part of my eyes and I'm taking that same um, tropical Tropic cool eyeshadow and apply it to the inner part of my eye and I'm blending that out. Then I'm going to take um, tan lines. Sorry, I'm watching the eyeshadow palette. I am going to take timeline, tan, T-A-N, tan lines. And I'm taking just a smaller brush and I'm just applying it at the very, very inner part of my um, lid. So basically I lighten in the inner part because the darker eyeshadow, the tropical is, is very dark for the inner part. So I just lighten it up a little with um, tan lines. So that's the um, eyeshadow gun is at the inner part. And then later on, you're gonna see me go on with the blending brush and just using that tan lines and go all over my crease area. Now there you see me changing, I look at the palette again and I change my eyeshadow and I decide to use SPF and seashell because I don't know, I find these two colors together make sense. I don't know what it is, but just looking at it, I was like, hmm, I have a particular look for that. And you're going to see I'm applying um, SPF and you're going to see what a beautiful color this is. Yes, so I'm gonna see it. Ooh, 
I'm watching it right now and he's like I'm giving the same reaction I was like oh my god this eyeshadow SPF oh my god this is a beautiful color you know what I should have done while I'm telling you I'm using this particular eyeshadow I should swatch it and on my hand so you can see what it looked like so I apologize for that I should have swatched it but look at that eyeshadow SPF hey hey Becky that is a beautiful color beautiful I must say look at that mm -mm 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 -mm. so after that I am um, actually I change again which you're going to see because I <laughs> I don't know. I never, never ready when I want to do a makeup application. So I, I'm looking at my palette and I seen SPF and glowing together. So I decided, okay, let me choose glowing instead because this really do make sense. I don't know. I see the vision and I, I have to execute it. So I decided to go with glowing instead of um, seashell on top of SPF. And when I was applying it, um, it wasn't really showing off. It was more like basically just laying on top of um, SPF and I have a lot of fallouts. Hence, that's why the reason I don't like to um, do my foundation application and then my eyeshadow. I'd rather do it on first before my foundation application. So as you can see, I uh, applying, applying, applying. It's dear, but it's not dear. It's just laying on top of the eyeshadow and I really, really didn't like it at all. And yeah, as you can see, I had a lot of falls. So you see for yourself, a lot of falls on the palette, a lot of falls on my face, and I really, really didn't like it. It was just placed on top each, um, on the eyeshadow so what I decide I say hey going back to old school again I take my setting spray spray the brush and then I um, dip my brush my eyeshadow brush in the eyeshadow which is glowing and then apply it to my lid and you're gonna see a deep yes yes so anytime you have this type of eyeshadow, sheen eyeshadow, spray a brush with your setting spray, dip it in your eyeshadow palette, and then apply on your lid. And it makes sense. Now I see a big difference. Now my eyeshadow is blending properly at how it's supposed to do and giving the results it's supposed to give. So you're gonna see me right now. I'm just gonna do my mascara, liner, and lashes, and then I'll be right back. I'm going to leave it just to see. I'm going to leave it just to see what will happen. Might mess up my makeup, but all right. So as you can see, I apply my milk um primer. And oh my god, this is just wipe off all the glitter because you see just now how much glitter i have all over my face from that fallout eyeshadow and it's like nothing was there now nah, man if you look if you use a cream primer <laughs> that <laughs> glitter will still be on your face if you don't wipe it off but i'm using this one and oh my god it just wipe off all the glitter on my face and i was impressed it's not the first time i'm using that but i'm just impressed of that situation um that happened so my foundation i'm going to use is my um, revlon revlon yeah my revlon foundation in 400 in caramel absolutely love it the first time i applied it in this video you can see for yourself it looked like a tint so i had to go back and apply more foundation to you know show because you know that i love my foundation to show Oh my god, I haven't used this brush in a long, 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 very, very, very 
very very long time i haven't used this brush in a very long time and it's one of it used to be one of my favorite brush so that's why i decided to use it this is from juvia's place foundation brush and um i went to the site i think a couple months ago to order some stuff and to me i didn't see this brush i think it's discontinued or I think they don't make um, brushes anymore, makeup brushes anymore. I could be wrong, maybe is how their site is set up. You know, they change their whole site around and I cannot find where their brushes are. But um, yeah, I haven't seen this brush on their site in a long time. But it might be discontinued, it might not be. Comment down below and let me know it's still there because I want to order some more of that brush because it used to be my favorite brush. I know that you like it, you like it, yeah, you like it. I know that you like it, you like it. He said that you were down just yesterday, hoping you'll stick around and wait for me. I see you on the come up, but don't switch up. So for um, concealer, I'm going to take my e.l.f. concealer in caramel and my L.A. Girls concealer in beautiful bronze to contour. L.A. Girls is to give highlights underneath my eyes, bridge of my nose, cupid's bow, chin and forehead and the beautiful bronze is to contour with. Yes. So let's go on to part two on why didn't I video. Um, because basically work take a big toll on it. I was um, busy for the um, entire week. I wanted to make a birthday glam the day before my birthday, which is a Monday, and upload it on the day of my birthday or do it the day of my birthday and upload it the next day. But that didn't turn out because I ended up getting very busy um, at work and I was extremely tired. My body, everything was completely um, tired. So that's why I didn't get a chance to make a video. And there you see me, I spray my setting spray, but um, I close my eyes so tight and some of the concealer go on my lashes. This beauty blender, I hate this beauty blender. I've been working at this beauty blender for a while. No, well, this type of beauty blender, but that one, I think I get a bad one. It's, no matter how much I damn it or, or spray it, or it's still stiff and hard and it feels like I... I blend in with a stone so and it wasn't blending properly you you could see I, you could see I go back with my foundation brush to try to blend out the harsh edges it wasn't blending properly it was frustrating me and yeah I hate this beauty blender so yes that is part two and why I didn't um make any video of um my summer makeup series or any vlog because it will take control and uh, that is just a life lesson where you just need to get some balance on when you're busy and when you're not busy you do do what you love well additional what you love and when you're busy you know you're busy you know, you need to learn how to balance the two when to make time for two because you cannot do two um, at the same time. So you have to learn literally how to balance your life, balance your work and balance your, your side hustle. If somebody tell you cannot get go into work and then come out and go into side hustle, now nah, that's a lie. You can work and go into side hustle, but you just need to learn how to balance it and know what to do. Your How to balance your side hustle and um, your work. So... This, you can see I finished blending and I really, really hate this bit. Oh my God, I'm watching this and I'm scrunching and flinching. And this beauty blender is the worst, man. And that's the last time I'm going to use it. As you can see earlier on in the video, what I'm going to do with it.
Alright, so I am going to set underneath my eyes first with my finishing powder from MAC in dark. I'm going to set underneath my eyes in my last makeup application. Remember I told you that I, no, I don't normally go straight into the setting powder. I normally set it with my finishing powder and then use the setting powder. So in this video, that's what I'm going to do. First, I'm going to use um, my finishing powder from MAC in dark. And then I'm going to use my translucent honey. And this Sam Beauty Blender gave me such a bad blend. I was so upset. I was like, you can see it's like I was done with this look because of how much of a bad blend it gave me. And it might take a minute, but we'll get it. The type of love that you want. Like it. I know that you like it. You like it. Yeah, you like it. I know that you like it, you like it. You said that you were down just yesterday. Hoping you'll stick around and wait for me. Then I'm going to take my bronzing powder from Morphe in Big Shot. Absolutely love this bronzing powder. It's a must-have to have for the summer. I haven't used it for a while now. I say maybe for a month now. But this bronzing powder is a must-have to have for the um, summer. And I'm going to set everywhere that I contour. Then it's time to set underneath my eyes. I haven't done that for a very long time, which is baking. In the early stage of makeup application, decades ago, <laughs> I used to um, do that, but now I don't do it anymore. I just press the setting powder underneath my eyes or basically everywhere that I um, highlight. That's what I do, but in this instant, I am baking. So let's see, because of this, blender this beauty blender gave me a bad blend that's why i'm doing that old school makers baking back in the day what i used to do but i don't do it anymore old school baking Then I'm going to set the rest of my face in my MAC uh, Mineralized Skin Finishing Powder in dark to set everywhere that I didn't set. Then I'm going to line my lips from MAC in, I have to try to get the name for you. <laughs> yeah, I put the name on the screen. I just am um, defining my lips or using my lip liner. And I forget to tell you earlier in the video, you're yeah, in the mic doing, making some songs. I do apologize for that. I'm taking my um, Fetty um, 
lipstick in i think this one is mademoiselle or mademoiselle i put the, the name on the screen so you can see i don't like the inner part of my lips so i decided to use concealer to give it like a ombre lips and then later on i'm gonna use um lipstick over that Then I'm taking my NARS um, brush palette. This one I think is called Flitty. I think I put the, the, the name so you can see. And no, it's not that one. It's this um, bronzy color one. Give me a nice sheen look on my cheeks. And after that, I'm going to use my Juvia's Place um, Royal 2 for highlights. Alright, so that is the video today. I hope that you enjoyed this makeup application. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and hit this notification bell for what's popping with Chanel 767. Until the next time.